Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to make a one pot goulash. This is super easy and fast to get on the table if you're in a hurry. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe will be listed in the information box below. You can find it on the website or the Roku channel. These are the ingredients you're going to need. Ground beef, or you could use ground turkey, chopped onions, chopped bell pepper, and this is green bell pepper, you could use whatever color you want, mushrooms, chopped garlic, water, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, Italian seasoning, a little bit of sugar, red pepper flakes, paprika, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and that will be to taste, and you'll also need some elbow macaroni. I'm going to make this in my rock crock, so I'm going over to my stove, and the first thing I'm going to do is brown my ground beef. Okay, I'm going to add my ground beef, and I'm just going to start breaking it up and let it get all brown and cooked through. Now that my beef is brown, I'm going to add my onion and the bell pepper. And the mushrooms. And I'm going to let this cook for just a bit to get those uh, a little bit soft. Okay, I'm going to add my garlic. This is cooked for about three minutes. I'm going to add the garlic and the sugar, Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, and paprika. Worcestershire, the water. the tomato sauce, and the tomatoes. I'm going to stir this all together and bring it to a boil. While I'm waiting for this to boil, I'm also going to add some salt and some pepper, and this is just to taste. I'll stir that in, and now we'll wait for it to boil. This is boiling now, so what I'm going to do is turn it down and put the top on and let it cook for about 15 minutes. This has been cooking for about 15 minutes and now I'm ready to add the pasta. So I'm going to stir this in and I'm going to put the lid back on and we're going to cook it for another 15-20 minutes until the pasta is uh, done. This is cooked for 15 minutes. My pasta's done, and now I'm ready to serve it. I'm going to put some of this in my bowl. Just kinda, however much you want. And I'm actually going to garnish this with a little Parmesan cheese grated on top. That's optional, but it's good. So that's what I'm doing. This is one pot goulash. I hope you enjoy it.